What's going on guys? It's me, Dream Ladder Fan 2016 here, and today we have another Roseville International Airport update for you guys, and this will be for the months of July 2024. Super excited to get into this month's airport updates. We got some special things to have, like we got we got a lot of special things in this airport update. We got new models, some interesting route operations here in KRVL, and overall just super excited to get into this airport update. Once again, we're still in the summer season as we're about to approach August soon. And yeah, super excited for KRVL during this time and like its current operations right now. And yeah, the Summer Strong is kind of like, it's kind of like, uh, like a wave motion. So we're going to talk about all like the events that happened during the July 2024 season or just like 2024 months. So without being said, not going to waste further time and you know the drill. We're going to get, we're going to like get started with our first aircraft at Gate Bravo 1. So without being said, let's head to Gate Bravo 1. Not Bravo 1, sorry guys. Gate Alpha 1, so I was thinking like, cause like we're still in the progress of like a future future concourse expansion of this airport. So without being said, let's get into Gate Alpha 1. Currently getting loaded up here at Gate Alpha 1, we got this United Airlines Boeing 777-200ER in the Star Alliance livery. And yeah, she's about to like get loaded up, get into fuel loaded, and she'll be making a departure flight soon to Yoshi Island International Airport, or just Yoshi Island Airport. She departed out of Roseville like close to 1.30, but more like more in particular she departed out of Roseville at 1 29 p.m. so close to that 1 30 mark right there but under that really cool that KRVL has this route it's kind of like an obscure route but this is not really classified as an international destination since I'm guessing Yoshi Island is like a domestic not sure where that is I'm guessing it's somewhere like east of the Hawaiian Islands I guess so I think that's where it's going to but under that still a good route for KRVL so yeah we have this United Trouble 2 and to Yoshi Island and Aviation LAS, this is your subscriber route from there. Like, this is your subscriber route, so, yeah. Thank you so much, Ed, for using your Yoshi Island Airport. Man, I've been looking forward to having this mall in my airport update for a long time, and finally it is here. This is one of the first out of, like, a couple of new models at this airport update, so this is the first new model right here, and that is the NG Models United Airlines Airbus A321neo at Gate Alpha 3. And currently right now, she's about to board the last passengers. She had just arrived from that Chicago Hair International Airport run. So, like, she arrived from that Chicago Hair run, of course. So, yeah, I want to, like, reread that for a bit. So, yeah, that's the O'Hare arrival right there. She arrived in Roseville at 12.48 p.m. And soon she's going to be returning to O'Hare. And she departed out of Roseville at 2.44 p.m. So, really glad to finally have this mall in my collection. Once again, this came from Edgy Malls in their November 2023 releases. If you haven't seen Mass Unboxing 12, then this is where I featured this model. And overall, it's just a very awesome model for my collection. Really glad to have another United Airlines narrow body in my collection. And really glad to finally use that for that O'Hare route. Of course, in real life, that's the O'Hare to SFO routes. But I'm not sure how long United Airlines will keep this aircraft before they switch it to the 757-200 again. I think during the winter, it'll be a 752. But during the summer, it'll be the a 21 neo But I think it'll be a mix between both. So... Other than that, really glad to finally have this United A221 new in my collection and overall, NG Malls did a wonderful job with this mall, so really love this effort right here. Alright, so I'm going to be covering two planes in this portion of this video, so we're going to get started that's currently like just about to finish this pushback, so we have this United Airlines Boeing 777-200 in the evil blue livery, and she's going to be departing for Newark Liberty International Airport and she departed out of Roseville at 3 o'clock p.m. And yeah, really nice that United Airlines is sending wide bodies to Newark. I think some somewhere during this time, they would sometimes like maybe during weekend operations, they would have a wide body that would come in, and then kind of like most during the weekdays. It's mostly during the summertime, like for our, like during the weekdays where like passenger travel isn't that like like not as big. They would mainly like use narrow bodies for that Newark route, maybe like a Max Nine, Max Eight, or Seven Hundred. But I guess this 777 will do since this will be operating for a weekend flight. So once again, this United 777-300ER, or not 300-200, non-ER variant, will be heading to Newark Liberty and she departed out of Roseville once again at 3 o'clock p.m. And over here at Gate Alpha 4, Mark, um, I think I got, I think I got a lot of explaining to do, but, <laughs> but over here at Gate Alpha 4, we have this United Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 9. Um, I... Um, I'm not sure when it's, if, honestly, I don't even know, because, like, you have this, you have this 777 pushing back, and then you have this mind, and that's, like, I don't even know, but, 
what I'm saying is, you have this triple seven that just about to finish his pushback, and then you have this max nine that's about to begin its pushback. So I don't know what is going on, but I'm gonna further explain in a minute. But she'll be making that morning flight to Chicago Hair Show. So like, she'll be departing for Chicago Hair, and this is a morning flight for this one. And she departed out of Roseville at 7:20 a.m. Now. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys have seen the, uh, I think it's the Slimmerville International Airport, I think, from Airlines International 2024. There's this one, I think, Mark or Gemini Jets 1975 on YouTube. He had, like, a situation, kind of like a similar situation to this, so... Here, I'll explain it. It's an AR, it's, to keep it, like, PG, it's an ARO reference. <laughs> It's a ARO -A -R -O situation that we're currently having right here. So if we don't know what's gonna happen if this Max 9 ends up pushing back while this plane, like this triple seven, like here, let me like say it clearly. So this is a ARO situation type deal right here. So if ever this United 737 Max 9 ends up pushing back, then it may accidentally hit this United Triple Seven Two Hundred that just finished pushing back. So. I I don't even have words to say, but uh, I want to keep it PG. But I think what I think I don't even know. <laughs> like, is it gonna push back or is it just gonna stay here before the triple seven leaves? We just never know. But <laughs> it's I don't. But yeah, once again, these two planes are doing the strong routes for the United Hubs, and under that, love to see it from the UAL fleet or just United Airlines in general here at Roseville International. And right here at Gay Alpha 6 and Alpha 7, we have two more new models that are going to be featured in this video. And these are the final two. I only feature three models in this airport update, but there's actually more from Mass Unboxing 12 that might come within the next updates of KRBL. So we're going to get started with Gay Alpha 6. Man, I'm really glad to also have this model in my collection. But right here, we have a Delta Airlines Airbus A320. And she had just arrived from Salt Lake City International Airport. And she arrived in Roseville at 9.45 a.m., which unfortunately that is, um, that's a delayed. They're they're like behind a 9.04 a.m. schedule arrival. Now, this month, Delta is currently, or wasn't like currently in a situation where there's like, um, like a software crash that happened and then many flights ended up being canceled. Delta, I think, was at its worst peak when that happened. And yeah, many flights had to be delayed or canceled, so that's unfortunate. Now, this flight, of course, was effective, so unfortunately, but thankfully it was not canceled. She arrived in Roseville once again at 9.45 a.m. That's better than being canceled, but once again, she originally was going to be arriving at Roseville at 9.04 a.m. So, quite unfortunate that happened, but hey, Delta is still striving hard, and yeah, unfortunate circumstances, I'll say. But yeah, that's... Really glad to finally have this Delta AC20. I've been envisioned to have this AC20 in many of my airport updates. And here it is right there. Looking absolutely very nice here at Gate Alpha 6. And at Gate Alpha 7, we also have another new model. And that is the Delta Airlines Boeing 737-800. This aircraft has some split skimitars. And she had just arrived from Los Angeles International Airport. And she arrived at Roseville at 1.16 p.m. And currently right now, the bags are being loaded up. The passengers are getting boarded. And she's going to return to LAX and departed out of Roseville at 3.11 p.m. So at least this flight wasn't effective. This flight wasn't canceled, of course. But I'm really glad to have a regular Louis Delta 738. I'm not sure if I can try, like, hopefully find a, like, a Delta 738 with blended. I mean, I have the World Champion Braid sticker, but technically it's a cheek stamp. But hopefully I can try to find a regular Louis Delta 738 with blended winglets. Whether it be from NG or, like, an older Gemini Jets release. But I'm really glad to have both of these models in my collection and overall they just, they're just pivotal assets. They're just amazing to have and really nice to have a nice variety of Delta airplanes right there. So those are the two models right there, therefore totaling up the three. So that's it for the new models. Let's move on to Gate Alpha 8. Moving on to these planes right here, we're going to get started here at Gate Alpha 8 with this Delta Airlines Boeing 757-300. And she had just arrived, hang on let me look. Yeah, she had just arrived from Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson International Airport and she arrived here in Roseville at 2.24 p.m. And this is unfortunately another delayed arrival. So this aircraft was supposed to arrive at 12.21 p.m. However, because of those cancellations I mentioned before, she ended up arriving at 1.16 p.m. So that's unfortunate. And unfortunately, it's another like it's a domino effect for this aircraft because 
it ended up having a delayed departure as well. So she she departed out of Roseville, returning to LAX at 3.11 p.m., which, or not 3.11, uh, where was that? Oh, yeah. So she departed out of Roseville, inbound for Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson International Airport. And, she, yeah, she departed at 5.14 p.m., which was delayed from a 1.6 p.m. departure. So once again, those... Honestly, those like cancellations, that software crash that happened this month really took a big toll on Delta Airlines, which unfortunately, it's unfortunate that many of Delta's flights had to be canceled or delayed. But yeah, I think I think at this point they may have got like the situation taken care of. So I think that Delta Airlines is back in operation, which is good. So that's really fascinating. But once again, unfortunate sequence right there. And yeah, many of Delta's planes had to be delayed during that portion of July. And over here at Get Off of 9, we have this Breeze Airways, Airbus A22300, and she had just arrived from Richmond, Virginia, or KRC. Hang on. Yeah, I'm trying to like, remember some airports. I know Breeze, this is Richmond, right, I think. <clears throat> um, yeah, this is Richmond International Airport, so she had just arrived from Richmond International Airport. And the good thing about this, it's a scheduled arrival, so she arrived at Roseville at 10.57 p.m. So this aircraft, thankfully, was not delayed. And yeah, Breeze Airways, I think they're starting to get better and better with their time operations, so that's really amazing to see that from Breeze. And she returned to Richmond, and she departed out of Roseville at 12.36 p.m. So great work, Breeze, on your on-time performances as of this month and overall. Yeah, I haven't seen much of delays as like I haven't really checked too much on Breeze Airways, but I think they're I think they may have improved on their on time rate. So that's really excellent for Breeze Airways and on that that's what we love to see from Breeze Airways. They may have a rough start within the first couple of years or months, but I guess they're going back on track. I think they're starting to be stable and overall we're seeing some good well, like on time performances for Breeze. So great work Breeze Airways and continue that amazing effort. And over here at Get Off 11 and Get Off 12, we have our Air Canada lineups right here. So we're going to get started at Get Off 11 with this Air Canada Airbus A22300. And of course, she had just arrived from Toronto Pearson International Airport, CYYZ. And she landed here in Roseville at 9.01 a.m. Like 9.01 a.m. Uh, 9.01 p.m., which is after the 9 o'clock hour for the evening. And she will remain over overnight here in Roseville. Uh, she originally was going to be going to the Ron stand. However, I guess like, I think that's under construction. So I guess she's going to be remaining overnight here at its gate. Get off of 11. And on the next day, she, like the next day, she's going to be departing back to Toronto Pearson International Airport. And she departed out of Roseville at 8.07 a.m. So real nice to see that seasonal Toronto service kicking in well for KRVL and yeah they just started resuming that service last month so we really got to see it back for this month and over here at Get Alpha 12 of course we have our Air Canada Express from Marinade CRJ 900 and of course she had just arrived from Vancouver International Airport for that double daily service and she arrived from Roseville arrived at Roseville at 11.58 a.m. so almost in the noon hour and yeah, currently right now she's about to board the passengers for the Toronto Pearson, well not Toronto, that's the Air Canada 8-20, uh, the Vancouver flight, so this is the returning flight, and she departed out of Roseville at 1.02 p.m. So I think this is one out of the two double daily, like, Toronto Pearson, not Toronto Pearson, why am I thinking, like, Toronto Pearson, Vancouver flights, so this is the like the two daily Vancouver flights so of course you have one early in the morning and then you have this one in within like the afternoon hour right there so really great to see Air Canada Air Canada working on those routes right there for KRBL Roosevelt International so that is it for all the airplanes at the terminal we got four planes that are currently in the taxiway and one that's about to land on the runway so with that being said let's get into those planes we're gonna begin things here with this United Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 8 and she is number three for departure and she'll be heading out to San Diego and she departed out of Roseville at 1.29 p.m. So really nice to see United Airlines bringing these max aids to obscure and sometimes common destinations from SFO. Yeah, this is SFO basically in real life. Like the route in particular, that's SFO to SAN. So really cool to see United Airlines bringing that service on their max aid. So we'll bring that aircraft to that route in general. But on that, I mean, like, it's a Gemini Jets model. I mean, there's some flaws. I hope NG Models can actually release a United Airlines 737 MAX 8. So just that model in particular, the NG one, can be a good replacement to this one. But other than that, 
Still good model by Gemini Jets and still glad to have this max save for my collection. Number 2 for departure is this United Airlines Airbus A319 in the Evil Blue livery and she'll be heading out to Denver International Airport KDEN and she departed out of Roseville at 12.59pm so that's before 1 o'clock so really nice to see United Airlines doing this service on the Airbus A319 and sometimes they'll also do it on the 738 but I don't have a 737-800 in my collection as of late other than that Star Wars livery like but just a regular livery, Continental or Evil Blue 737-800. I don't have that yet in my collection. I hope I can get it in the future, but other than that, still utilizing this Airbus A319 for that route right there. And to finish off the airport updates, I'm going to be covering two planes. We're going to be starting off with this aircraft landing, so we're going to be going to like begin the one that is landing right now with this Delta Airlines Airbus AC-21neo, and she had just arrived from an interesting destination, so. She arrived from Salt Lake City International Airport and she landed in Roseville at 12.28 p.m. Now, originally their AC-21neo is for the Boston route, but they can sometimes send it to like one of their hubs. So Salt Lake City is a good example. So here she is landing on the runway. And yeah, really interesting that Delta Airlines decided to use the AC-21neo for that route. But other than that, still a good option. And yeah, the I guess like the passenger numbers in SLC is really high during the summer. So... There is your AC-21neo right there, and the final aircraft for this airport update is this beautiful livery, this beautiful special right here, that's number one for departure. We have this Delta Airlines Airbus AC-3900neo, and this is actually not a commercial flight, this is actually a charter flight, and she's going to be heading to Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson International Airport, or ATL, and she departed out of Roseville at 11.10am, and this is an Olympic charter flight, so this aircraft is carrying the Team USA team. For the Paris Olympics, which of course that's currently happening right now as of the upload of this video, it the opening ceremony was on October, October excuse me, geez, uh, July 26th of this year, of course. July 26th was the opening ceremony of the Paris Olympic Games for the summer, and yeah, there she, there it is. Once again, she's gonna be heading to Atlanta Hartsfield. She just picked up the Team USA athletes right there, and then after like. They're there, they decide to do a celebration before they take it up to Paris Charles de Gaulle in Atlanta, Georgia. And yeah, really fitting that they're going to be using this livery for the Team USA players. So, good luck to the Team USA team for the Paris Olympics and do your best. So that is it for this airport update. So, what a pack airport update. While there were ups and downs, we still had a good run for KRVL in July. So without being said, let's move on to the, the conclusion portion of this video and I'm going to take it from there. So without being said... Let's get into the conclusion. Alright guys, so hope you guys enjoyed this month's airport update for July 2024. Overall, another pack airport update. We had a couple of like, uh, flight cancellations and like not actually no flight cancellations for this airport update, but we had some flight delays. Of course, Delta Airlines is mostly affected on these flight, cancel flight delays and cancellations because of the, the software crash that happened like in late kind of like around like the third week of july so yeah that was unfortunate but i think delta is back on like uh on what it was for like before the crash so like on its back on like back on their feet i'll say but on that so a good airport update we have some new models that are featured so i'm gonna mention them right now so we'll start this off with this united airlines a321 deal and the Delta AC-20 and the 737-800 for Delta Airlines. So those are your two new models right there. Both of them are really amazing. And yeah, they're all from NG Malls. So great work, NG Malls, on making these. And I'm really glad to have them for my collection. So in terms of like July, it was like a really busy month for me. Of course, July was the month I got back from Airliners International 2024. So I was like really pretty much like, well, exhausted within like the like the first few days I came back but then I started making a lot of these airliners and like these airliners in the national videos I didn't really have like I ended up making this KRVL airport update literally at like before August so like kind of like in the week of like the 29th to August 2nd so yeah apparently I was like so super delayed so yeah, the original schedule for KRVL had to be pushed back to the 31st of july so yeah because like i had a lot of things of course i have flight lessons i have work and then i also have all the content i need to produce from airliners international so i already posted my 
my introduction or like the experience video and then I also posted the Kansas City spawn video and then I also posted my haul video as well which will be coming out later today around 4 o'clock p.m. so we're looking forward for that video once it comes out and on that still strong still so like, excuse me still strong summer for Roosevelt International Airport I also like I also wanted to want to mention this Team USA plane since that's carrying the Team USA players right there it's for the Paris Olympics so once again Good luck, Team USA, at your run on the Olympics right there. But other than that, so a good KRVL, like, KRVL airport update, and I'm excited to see what August has to offer. Now, yeah, these are, like, the current GSCs right now you're seeing in many of these airport updates, but that won't last too long, as, of course, I do have some GSCs, some jet set models, so that won't be, you already saw my video of, like, my jet set models unboxing, but that won't be coming out right away, nor August. I have Mass Unboxing 13 that I also need to like do and that also has some Jet Set models GSC as well so after Mass Unboxing 13 as well as see all the GSC so excited for that but other than that looking forward to what's to come for KRVL as we head to the fall season so yeah that's it for today's video so hope you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you like comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on that post notification bell so you won't miss a video like this anytime soon and for the, like the final frame right there, I do want to end it off like with my new models right there. So we're going to position it like this. I think. Or maybe right here. So maybe that should, Yeah, I think it, that should be good. You can see the United Nations 21 deal. And yeah, so that is it. Of course, subscribe and all that. And if you want to see all my Roseville International Airport updates, then you can click on that. Like click on the playlist. And it shows you all, all my Caribbean Airport updates from the beginning to now. So... That's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Anyways, good night.